if you live in a world where you have parents, then they love you. But when your life is in a big house with a big family, and if you are autistic, then you rarely get attention. An autistic person means, autism means that it's a developmental disability of behaviors and actions. The person who lives in this house is 11-year-old Jamie Freak. Who is about to get yelling to wake up, which voice sounds like a fat thousand violins, played by a monkey. Jamie! That was the sound of Jamie's mom, and she's in a rush to, for Jamie to get to school. Re- the reason the mom is like that is because Jamie has siblings, 12 siblings. And they each get along so nicely. They have conflicts. They have fights. But they always get along. Jamie always has his moods. Because he rarely gets the attention. Time to get up, sweetheart. You're going to be late for school. The mom said kindly. Jamie was tired. Jamie's younger sister... Emily always be called cute. She broke a face. Jamie gets in trouble. If she spills juice, Jamie gets in trouble. Every time when the carpet gets ripped, Jamie gets in trouble. Jamie hated being in trouble for no reason. Until one day, Emily came out of the bathroom. But she forgot the flush. Joseph was going to go out with a friend to play video games until he had to go to the bathroom real bad, especially when he has to pee. Joseph noticed that someone forgot the flush. The foul stench is annoying him until Jamie's co- mom called his name. Jamie! But I didn't do it this time, said Jamie, panically. Don't take me for a fool, snapped the mom. If you don't confess, then I'm sending you back to the group home. A group home is not going to be fair and always going to put you down from an autistic person's point of view. Joseph was afraid. Emily noticed the school. Crying and begging from her big brother. The mom being overbearing. Emily couldn't take it anymore. So she said to the mom. Mommy, I did it. And I'm very sorry. I'm sorry, big brother Jamie. The mom calmed down. But she felt sorry for both kids. I'm so sorry. We have only one toilet in this house. I'm sorry, son, for not believing you. I'm sorry for yelling in front of you, Emily. Then, Jamie began to cry. Emily began to comfort him. It's okay, Jamie. You're not in trouble. You have a right to be angry at Mommy. The mother felt amazed that the two kids are hugging. Then Jamie cried again with tears of joy. And everyone is very happy. The end. Or is it the end? Let's not forget Jamie is autistic. He was diagnosed at three years old. Mostly common for an autistic person. And let's hope Jamie's sisters will never get him into trouble again.